Well, now the cans are finished, the next step is to replace what I'm calling the secondary capacitors. I'm doing this in a completely different video because the last one just got too long. So you can see them here and this is where they are in the circuit diagram with the red circles around and this here is the sketch that I made before I started work. Always, always make loads of notes before you rip apart anything and make sure you understand what's going on otherwise you'll never put it back together again. The task today, should I decide to accept it, and yeah okay I will, is to replace the last of the non-board electrolytics which is here. I'm going to start off with the easy one which is that one. First of all remove it. This looks pretty new to me. 470 mic at 25 volts that means it must be C308 and this looks pretty new so I think this one has been replaced in the past. Let's see what it measures. On this one, like most of these that have in, been in this kit, are low. But anyway, we can only assume that it's a better cap and put it in. Tin the leads on the capacitors and then tin these leads. I'm not going to pull these leads out of the sockets that they were in. I'm just going to solder the new cap straight onto them and use some... Uh, insulation. So there it is, blink and you'll miss it. It's right there. It's a lot smaller than the original. A lot smaller. Anyway, it's in. Next one we're going to tackle is this, which by my book ought to be C303, a one microfarad film capacitor. So let's have that little bugger out. And it tests a bit low, 0.89 mic. Looks good in specs, 10%, just about. And there is the replacement film capacitor. And just a tad over one microfarad. Good. And there is that one, soldered in. All right, it's gonna get more interesting now. This one should be C305, which will either be a 100 or a 220 mic, depending on which, uh, on which information you use. I think uh, the kit has got a 100 mic in there and the circuit diagram should have said, says it should be a 220 anyway we'll see well, indeed it's a 220 mic so what they what he's doing giving me a hundred mic god alone knows well at first i thought this was kind of the wrong part because it's a hundred mic at a hundred volts but looking at the service information the replacement for that cap is a hundred mic at 40 volts so this should do so who am i to question it and there we are, that's it soldered into place. Faux way. And now we've got to remove this one. This is the worst of all. This is the film capacitor. The last one. Always leave the last one till the the worst one till the last, Bentley. So that capacitor is out. Excuse me. You can see it. There it is. It should be 0.22 mic. And it's 0.235 mic so that was a good one and there it is okay that's all the caps in now the power supply section is finished and if I was really brave I'd switch it all on now and check the voltages around here but I ain't gonna do that because I've had enough this has taken me an hour and a half that's all but that's enough I find this a bit stressful to be fair and I'll tell you the reason why I find it stressful when it's finished. Anyway, this should be the last of these caps and I'll test it tomorrow. Bye bye. Well, you know what I said about I finished the power supply section and I'm not going to switch it on because I'm too afeard. Well, you know, I went down the pub and had a couple of beers and so I came back and just decided to switch the bloody thing on anyway and see if any of the electrolytics exploded or things got really red hot and it's been running for uh, at least an hour I intended to run it for a couple of hours it's been running for at least an hour and it's 
pleasantly warm but that's it no really disgusting smells coming out of it uh, which is a good sign so I started to measure around the um, the outputs of the power supply and this one here the um, positive end of C305 should be plus 18 volts and it's 17.9 so that's close enough for television and the other voltage rail I can see from one of the ends of C303 which is this film capacitor here there is no plus and minus this end is zero and it should be 75 volts and it is 72.7 so right now I call that a win I mean it's been running for over an hour it's stable so I'm not gonna remeasure this on video but I'm gonna keep it running for another hour or so and double check it before I switch it off if anything if anything goes wrong I'll obviously let you know so so far so good knock on wood it should be 18 volts and it's 17.9 volts there are no um, potentiometers to adjust anything so I'm gonna say that this is a pass the uh, power supply section has been done 18 volts yeah you just saw it for a fraction of a second there it's a pass so this is where we were at the end of the last video and this is where we are now and C308 alternative value wasn't used